Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. This is today's project. It is a super cute little treat holder. This was made by my friend Pesci at a meeting that we went to, and a lot of talk in the stamp room when people saw it. They really thought they loved it and wanted to learn how to make it, and so I did it in class, and now I'm gonna show you a video so you can create them at home. So we're gonna take a piece of six by six designer series paper, and it can be any paper that you want. This happens to be the Be Merry um, Christmas paper that is in the holiday catalog. Um, you can make any size of this treat holder just by using a square piece of paper. So if you need a bigger one, um, just make you know an eight by eight or a 10 by 10 and it'll just um, keep getting bigger and bigger. So what we're gonna do is to fold this in half and I seem to be missing my bone folder. There it is. Okay, so we wanna go corner to corner, point to point. We wanna make sure everything's really nice and even and also use a bone folder to make those folds nice and crisp. That will help everything go together. It's a little bit like um, origami, really. Okay, so now we want this to be open at the top and we want to bring a point this point over to this side while keeping a nice perfect triangle here. So it is okay if your point does not exactly meet on this edge, that is quite all right. Uh, this paper actually makes it so easy because it's striped and giving me exactly the line I need. What you do not want to do is bring this fold over to meet the other fold. It's, there's really not a measurement for it. You've just, it's kind of blind. So you have to um, follow a template is what I did. I made one out of computer paper and got the dimensions to what I wanted and then kind of used that as my, as my template. There is no gluing on this, which is very cool as well. So now you're gonna take this point and you wanna bring it over to meet the other edge also following that nice straight line that you just created. This is normal. You want a little triangle at the top and you want a little triangle at the bottom as well. This, I believe if you did a search for it online, it would be called a diaper fold. So it kind of looks like a little baby diaper. And now you're gonna fold one of the flaps down, okay? And make that nice and crisp. And there you go. Inside there is your little pocket. So you can put some treats in there. One thing I saw was um, it was made a little bit bigger and they put their silverware in there. So it was a little place setting. You could put your knife and fork and spoon in there and have those sitting up for the holidays, picnic, something like that. Now what I did do was I stuck my fingers in here and kind of made, pushed it out a little and then I pushed this bottom in and that makes it a little bit of a gusset so it could sit up, okay? So now you have that little indent there at the bottom. Now mine will not sit up because it's, it doesn't have anything in it to hold it, hold it steady. So that's all there is to it. Isn't that cool? So quick and easy. Now I'm gonna take Garden Green ink and I'm gonna take the little tree from our Merry Mistletoe stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. That is one of our Christmas stamps in the bigger catalog, not the holiday catalog. Something's on my stamp, it's a hair. Dog hair, party fowl. All right, Bella, keep your hair out of my ink pads. Let's do that again. Now we should be cooking. Yes, much, much better. I have a one and three eighth circle punch and I'm just gonna punch my little tree out. And then I took some of our gold foil. I have deer in there too, they are not necessary. And I just punched out a bunch of one and a half inch circles. And now I'm gonna layer those two together. And I'm going to take a dimensional and put that right on my flap do not put it anywhere off the flap, just on top there, because then the whole thing will actually fold back open so you can use that 
um, as a template. Okay, so actually look, the whole thing just opens back up again. Okay, super quick and easy. Just, I just love it. This has been around for a while, um, but you know, it's always fun to bring back some older ideas and use new product with them. And now I have some of our metallic enamel shapes and I'm just gonna take a little star and put that right at the top of our Christmas tree. So is that not adorable or what? So a little Ghirardelli fits right in there. Um, you could do anything in there. Little starlight mints would be cute, all kinds of fun stuff. So there is a super quick and simple diaper fold pouch. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.